Good mom. Good girl. Good mommy. Three lambs, mama. Good girl. Good mommy. Hey, sweetie, when are you gonna have your baby? Good morning, guys. Uh, it is a bit chaotic. I had to tear down some pens first thing this morning, like I said last night, just to make room for the new use at Lambs. Um, so I got up at four today, just a half an hour earlier, just to see if there was more, less. Uh, there was two that lambed through the night and they only had singles. And then two, uh, the lambs are still very fresh and the one I, I the one I don't even think's done lambing yet. I just tore down some pens, juggled some ewes around in there that I already had tagged, and then uh, made some room for the new ewes and babies. One of the new ones right here. This little nugget. Uh, that one. That's the one I don't think's done lambing. She's marked for two. And she's only got the one so far. Chasing her around. Here's the other ones over here. I might give these guys a bottle. The one, anyway. The one in the corner. It just looks kind of cool. Hey, sweetie, when are you going to have your baby? Billy's mommy. A few things that I've noticed about this group just this morning while it's early and I'm thinking about it oh. is uh, this group is the same group that, la that lamb last December. And I forget how much I appreciate and love mature ewes. Uh, we have not had one ewe really reject. I had one reject a triplet that I had to tube yesterday, but other than that, knock on wood, there really hasn't been rejection. They stay really close to their lambs. The lambs haven't been crazy running away from the ewes. Uh, we have some little runners, but for the most part, the land, the ewes take them right back. What's the other thing? And they follow so nice. So especially when Chris is here uh, spelling me off, that takes a lot of stress off her. She likes ewes that will follow her. Um, so yeah, it's just, it's all those little things that just make lambing a little more, a little less stressful. It's already very enjoyable, but the stress factor can be high when, when a ewe won't follow their lamb and you get them all the way up to the pen and then they turn around and go all the way back so just little improvements like that and they're just getting used to us because they're on there there's some use in here from 20 some replacement use from 2016 2017 2018 so they've all lambed a few times which is really nice i think i might know why she's not sitting still i think she's got another lamb in her so i'm gonna actually just check and see what's going on she just won't sit still. She's up and down. Yeah, I'm gonna check her. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ooh, she's a big 
Good mom. Good mom. Okay. Oh, that's what you were waiting for. Yeah. There you go. Can I check you for another one? While I'm here. That's it. Winners. Winner, twinner, chicken dinner. There you go. Oof. Good mommy. Good mommy. Here you go. I'll let you chew it. She should be good now. She just wanted that one out. It was coming out backwards. What are you doing, Mom? Are you going too? Yeah, you're going too.
mama. Girl. Three yellow lambs. So that's called meconium staining. So the lambs pooped in their water bag, all three of them. In fact, I saw the poop come out. I need to break from the babies, so I am going for a merging ride with Jess. Merging so we're putting three rows into one. So two rows two into rows one, into which one. which makes three rows. Three, three. A rows. pile of a pile of three. I'm really tired. It has been kind of nut bar in the barn today. We've had um, another, what did I just tell you? I 30, don't 33 or 34 lambs today so far. Uh, Chris is in there right now, just on call. Uh, we are almost exactly halfway done already, and it's only been four days, which is crazy. It blows my mind. That four um, days though has felt like, like how so long you. Uh, I've been really good. Right now I'm feeling as tired as I've been yet. No, it's been going really, really good. Uh, I'm running into space issues, so Mark is cleaning out manure off my pad, and then hopefully when this, we're doing hay tomorrow, which I'm not even really trying to think about right now, <laughs> then Thursday perhaps I can maybe clean that one side out, and then I can put some use on that side, and then I won't feel so claustrophobic. The trucker, dad knows his name, but the guy who's in. Oh yeah. Um, watches your videos and his so they watch it on the TV. Yeah. And his little daughter's name is Carissa or something like that. And so oh, every time, it's Steve. Yes. Yeah. Every time yep. you say your name, she like perks up yep. or something. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Hi, Carissa. <laughs> oh, look at the sky. So a few little surprises today. It's been busy. I don't even remember like, even where I left off with you guys because we just haven't stopped. Pretty much all of these are new today. There might be there might be one from yesterday in here, but for the most part they're all today. <laughs> but look who look at these ones. My little family. Okay. So cute. Little disappointed today. Um, this is the first day I've had some any significant losses. I lost the only thing up till today. I've only lost that really, really small one. The twin of the one with the uh, hi. <laughs> the twin with uh, the kind of the sick mom at the front. Not sick, but just skinny. But today we had this lady had four lambs and they looked exactly like exactly like these two. So um, they were stillborn. So two were stillborn, two were perfectly fine. Um, not really sure what happened. The other one that I lost was down here. I think I tagged. Is this it here? Yeah. So this one here. There was a twin with this one too. Uh, born really really weak and its stomach was really extended and hard so I don't know if that's like if it had a bit of a bug in through its uh, uh, um, umbilical cord I'm not I'm not entirely sure but uh, I tried to put a tube down its throat to like release the air it's almost like it was blo born bloated if you can kind of envision that uh, but I could not relieve the pressure I tried to tube it and within minutes it died so I don't know if the tube went down the wrong tube or or what happened but um, it was had a very very weak pulse even when I tried to do that so whether it was almost kind of on its way out so that is really my first uh, so now I'm up to I've lost four out of uh, what we're up to now I think my count between I think I've had 30 33 today 30 I'm losing count. 33 today, 37 yesterday, 17 and 17. So I think I'm just nicely over 100 now. And the good news is we're we're down to we're about halfway done. Oh, someone just lambed. There's some noise down here as well. This one's got a little discharge there, but this one's making noise, so... I think what I'm going to do right now is, uh, I tagged all morning to keep up, but I'm going to have to tag tonight. I don't like tagging the same day as that they're born, just in case something goes wrong. Those tags are expensive, uh, but I think 
because I'm gonna be doing hay all day tomorrow, I just don't wanna be stressed out knowing that I haven't tagged any and then, we, and then we're uh, landlocked and I can't move those ewes until they're tagged. So if I tag them today, then when I'm gone, if Carissa needs the room, then she can move, they, she can move those ewes and their babies out of the lambing pens. I'm just finishing up uh, tagging and my ewes in the next pen over are feeling their oats tonight. Uh, update on the tagging. I think I'm up to 109 lambs. Uh, as for number of views, uh, I don't have them all tagged yet, but we're looking at around 53 maybe, something like that. I had a couple more just now while I was tagging, so this lady had a set of twins, and this lady had a big single. So I think I, I am actually Today I'm tired. <laughs> the 4 a.m. is catching up with me. It is 8.30, I'm hungry. I'm gonna run in and have supper. I think I'm gonna shut it down and get up at four again tomorrow. I'm hoping they give me a bit of a day of reprieve just because we have hay. And uh, I just don't want Carissa to, to be crazy busy when, uh, when I'm not really available to help her, so. It will be what it will be, but thank you guys for hanging out with me. Thanks for being here, and we will see you hopefully tomorrow. I don't know if I will get this video edited tomorrow when we do hay, so you'll either see it tomorrow or, or you'll see it Thursday. <laughs> Have a good night, guys.